Hi, my name is Anne. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to talk about using discernment when presenting your authentic self. Now, the reason I wanted to share this topic is because we read so much about becoming your authentic self and how important that is, and that is true. So what the process is, basically, is we are programmed from childhood, from learnings, from behavior of our parents, um, and from all different sources. We, are, we have learned programs that we are running. And some of that, or most of that, is actually not truly who we are. And once we uncover and, and dig into deciding that we are no longer identifying with those programs, and we go through the process of releasing and healing from those programs, we come to see our authentic self or who we truly are. And that is magical. However, we need to use discernment when presenting our authentic self to the world. Now, this is contrary to what most people will say, because you should always be your authentic self and not care what anyone says or thinks. And as much as I do agree with that, there is, however, a time where it doesn't always make sense to be your true authentic self. Now this applies specifically to those who are described as empaths who may be newer to this journey. Now the reason I say that, and this is based on my own experience, is you can get yourself into a bit of trouble if you're truly authentic and not completely empowered. And that may be why you even have experienced some trauma in your life to begin with. And that is because it can be something that is seen as a weakness and preyed upon. So until you learn how to use that gift, that energy, to your advantage, use to know how to properly manage it, it needs to be controlled a little bit. You don't always want to show everyone your authentic self. In some cases, it makes a lot more sense to keep your mouth shut and tell people less about you. Now, until you get to the point where you can actually use that empathic skill to really read someone's um, energy and to really understand what they're presenting, use caution because often what happens is that is picked, they pick up on that and they will learn how to use that and manipulate that part of you to their own advantage. So there is this time frame in between where it can be used in a negative fashion towards you. And this can lead you back down a path that you have already ventured down in another part of your life. So until you can really see that in someone, until you can really know when they are someone that you can truly open up to and trust, keep that true authenticity to yourself. It's just really a word of caution, especially if you have had dealings with what we label as narcissistic type tendencies or people with large egos, they are different things. Um, but 
just use some caution and try and keep aware of what information you are sharing with other people and keep your guard up a little bit it's actually it's protecting your energy it's not really it, it that's what the guard is in my opinion it's you're protecting your energy and you need to be way more cautious in who you allow into your energy field and even more cautious with what information you actually share about yourself hope this helps this little tip helps if you resonate with this, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you.